I am the Derpy Well, and this is your daily dose of Minecraft. For our first clip, Fanta Latone has made a bow that can actually shoot the Warden's sonic boom. This is for an upcoming 1.19 horror mod that he's working on currently. But what do you guys think about this? Because he's asking for feedback. I feel like the damage is pretty well balanced, to be fair. John knows how to work smart, not hard. By making the LAs do all the heavy lifting for him, it looks like a pretty efficient farm too. Good job, John. Oakley Paws has made a working Connect 4 using redstone. He's got a few other cool redstone builds on his YouTube channel linked down below in the description. Eh, it's boring, was messing around in Bedrock Edition on creator mode and built this conveyor belt-ish mob farm with minecarts. And I can't stop watching it, it's kind of funny. But I can just imagine someone doing this on their full-on survival world, that's basically just endgame. Because, you know, people love to flex weird farms. This player has added in a feature that is pretty weird to watch. Why is the Warden a better swimmer than me and I'm a whale? Probably Jade made a geyser for a friend's cave build that launches mobs and players into the air. You wouldn't want to ride your boat over that. A random guy with three balls, uh, I think the guy's username shared a little bit too much detail about himself there, but anyways, has made an automated city that can distract itself in under 60 seconds. And it's actually so fascinating to watch it build itself. All structures are randomly built to random heights and have a selection of four roof levels, six styles and five block pallets. POV, you live in city skylines. This has to be the deepest ravine I've ever seen. Rare photo of the pyramids being built, so that's how they were made. This is not what you want to see on your realm server, the warden really does make for some pretty funny scenarios. Statistics show that only 30% of people who are watching this video right now are actually subscribed. That's such a small number. If you guys enjoy the series, please make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Every new subscriber gives me the motivation to make another episode. Thank you so much. This player was getting smacked around and totally losing the fight, but then was saved by crumbling coverstone as well as being hit by the player. <gasps> Red Pandas by Bonzo Studios, so cute. Allows is for, or allows for, I don't know how to say the name, sister decided to make a gasp with a glove, and uh, yeah. Why does it look like it regrets being born? A player by the name of Average Ishness has managed to contain the warden in its own cell. Minecraft devs, you're supposed to avoid the warden you know. Minecraft players, yeah, I'm gonna keep him as a pet. I think this player is running experiments on the warden though, so this is not gonna end well. I've seen enough movies where they experiment on aggressive monsters and it never ends well. A corner Nim made a Warden Disc 5 animation and it's mind blowing how good the animation is. You would think that Mojang made this. His YouTube is linked in the description. He needs more subscribers, so go check him out and tell him the Derpy World sent you.
Apostrophe has created an automatic machine that actually drains the ocean for him. He's dubbed it the Air Printer, which is actually a pretty fitting name for it. Called Modern Warfare's Precision Airstrike, but in Minecraft. Have you ever wondered what a black hole would look like in Minecraft? Yeah, me neither, but this is what they look like. Thanks, Temporal9, for knowing how to create cool things. So apparently mobs can't walk through signs. How long has this been a thing? Asks Marty McBee. But to be honest, I kind of think that it's the rails underneath him causing this. What do you guys think? Is it the sign or the rail? Let me know in the comments. Are you sign or rail gang? I see good stuff made dark seeds and mega beams in Minecraft using data packs. And then he used it to kill a warden because what else would you use it for? G Gamer made an automatic TNT crafting machine. I need this now. I would just watch it all day. I couldn't believe I never saw this project until recently. It's so interesting, and I'm kind of ashamed I haven't featured it sooner. Jambler, the dev behind this one, is showing off a proof of concept for an interactive 2.5D hub world in Minecraft. And I'm sold. This looks awesome. From an impressive proof of concept to a mind-blowing survival achievement, Jupiter 5 has built a 500 by 500 emerald pyramid in survival by himself. And funny enough, his world play hours is actually 500 too. Is this a coincidence or is the Illuminati involved? It's a coincidence, I think. He's also released these statistics to show that this is 100% legitimate because some people in the comments are actually suggesting that this was fake, but no, he came back and proved it. Wardens go brrrr. <laughs> okay. It's been a while since I've featured a boat race track on the series, and we're back strong with an extreme boat racing track created by Stevie Wonder. Did you know that waterlogged leaves are obsidian on a budget? Once a leaf becomes waterlogged, it obtains all the blast resistant qualities that obsidian has. So if you're on a budget, consider using these instead. Dashpon4 built a boss fight arena in his hardcore world and challenged 111 teen withers to a fight. Did you know that name tags stop the warden from digging down? Well, now you do. I present the hidden floating crafting table created by Mishi. Enjoy this perimeter time lapse created by a Thai Jello.
Well, you made it this far into the video, so you must have enjoyed it, right? Please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. YouTube thinks you'll enjoy the video on screen, and I do too. You should definitely give it a click, or check out my channel for other videos you might enjoy. You won't regret it. Thank you.